them in there. Oxen! <laughs> my old bitch. <laughs> He's scared. He's scared of me. I know. So I'm a little scared of you too. That's <laughs> <laughs> in the camera right here. Really? Yep. Right here. They're everywhere. Another one right here. Yeah, I remember Moxon when he used to be a nice guy. He did? Yeah, way back. Way back. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. This was before he even went to law school. Oh. Really? But was he a Scientologist then? Yeah, we were on staff together in D.C. Really? Oh, what, how long were you in D.C.? Um, let's see, counting, when I, counting my college years, I think I stayed in D.C. for nine years. It must have been about, on staff, I was there maybe... And there's another camera two on the or tree three right years. there. Pardon? I was there maybe two or three years. Okay. What? Camera in the tree. Chief. When, when, um, when did you leave? They sent me to Flag to do some training, mm -hmm. and I left from Flag. I left it there in 1977, mm. and then, like a fool, I came back. I mm. went to, <laughs> I went to the, the briefing course out here, mm -hmm. and I did the class eight course over there, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and then I ran out of money, so of course I couldn't do anything else. Mm -hmm. And so I was just over at my shop doing hair for about seven years. Mm -hmm. And that's how I um, started coming back into contact with the real world. Mm -hmm. And so by the time I came back over here, after the golden age of tech came out, mm -hmm. they said, if you're a class H, you can do it for free. I said, oh, goody. Mm -hmm. And I came back over here, and it was horrible. Really? Horrible. Oh, my God. I thought to myself, how did I ever fall for this stuff? Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning and the end. I was done. When you say horrible, what, what do you mean? It was like when I would go into the place, I could feel. It was a tangible feeling mm -hmm. of fear. Mm -hmm. People, it was like in my stomach. Mm -hmm. And it was like, what, what is this all about? Mm -hmm. And so then I just kind of looked around and I found out all this stuff that had been changed. Mm -hmm. and. You know, and they said, well, if you think something is wrong, write it up. If I had written up everything I saw, I would still be there writing <laughs> it up. <laughs> this, is 19, this is 2003. Wow. So I was done. I was done after that. Well, so was, do you think it was bad, like you didn't notice how bad it was before it actually became worse? Oh. It, both. Okay. It was bad before, mm -hmm. but that was when, that was before David Miscavige had his total, um, agreement with his mm -hmm. brand of Scientology, mm -hmm. and then by the time I came back, he had completely taken over everybody's minds. Wow. So he made it worse. He made it worse. Wow. <sighs> Jeez. Well, I'm glad you didn't, like, you know, get, get back into it. Yeah, no, I couldn't, but I saw friends of mine who did, mm -hmm. like, People whose kids were in the Sea Org, they couldn't very well just leave. Right, right. And people who were making their living doing Scientology, they couldn't just up and leave. Right, yeah. So those were people that I really felt sorry for, but, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. made their own bed. Yeah. Jeez. Oh. And in case you missed my message. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I better not step on that. And how about this one? Ooh, I don't know that what that means. What's that? Comev Com DM. A Comev is like a, a court that they call on you supposedly to um, go over the facts relating to your case and they make a judgment from that, but it's really nothing but a kangaroo court. They've really? already made up their minds what it's gonna, what the results are gonna be. Oh. And they're just doing this for good service to justice or something. So he, he needs that, but <laughs> he only... He needs it. <laughs> he definitely oh. needs it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, oh.
wonder what's going to become of that guy, you know? I don't know. I do not know. Yeah. I don't know, like, Tony Ortega was saying, like, he thought that even if, like, every single, you know, so-called parishioner or whatever left, that it, you know, it would still go on just because there was so much money. I mean... Yeah, somebody's going to want this money, and they, you know, they'll just do whatever they have to to get it, just like they do. Um, Arne Lerma um, came to San Francisco and he had some sort of theory, I, I couldn't really follow it, but it had to do with mortgages and real estate and that was the way they made a lot of their money. Oh yeah, these buildings that they're calling ideal orgs, mm. they use their tax exempt status to um, collect donations to buy these buildings mm -hmm. and do the renovations and they're supposedly going to pay somebody to do the renovations mm. but what they're actually doing is using the Sea Org as slave labor to do the renovations mm. and so they don't have to pay the real estate taxes because of the tax exempt. They can collect the money. Mm. They don't have to pay any mortgages because they can just use that money that they collect to buy the building. Wow. And then they have the, na the uh, building in their name mm -hmm. so the local org never owns it. Mm. They have to pay rent. The org pays rent to the Church of Scientology? Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's really something. Yeah. It's a scam. Does the org know that they're doing that? No, I don't think they do. Otherwise, there would be... Well, the, they may know because now there's so many people leaving. They just might know that it's a scam, but they just don't want to say anything. Right. They, you know, like Tori, when she left, she wasn't going to say anything. She was yeah. just going to quietly fade away. Yeah. But no, they wouldn't leave her alone. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, you know, that's where they made their mistake. <laughs> yeah. Big, big mistake. Big yes. mistake. I just saw Odo down there. It's like, so what's the occasion with nothing I know? <laughs> Odo? Who's that? One of the guards. Oh. He's like, oh, I'm just told, like, hey, dude, join us. We're going to be messing with Scientologists. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, a friend of mine, like, always had a crush on him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She first saw him out here. Was like, oh my God, who is that guy? <laughs> is that him down there, or? Yeah. One walking. Security guard, eh? But she's married now. <laughs> oh, okay. But well, she, it's too late, still, right? I'll still have to post pictures of him. She'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> Hi. Yoda. 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 Yeah, I just talked to him. Oh, okay. Do you like the card? Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.